Hey guys, Courtney here with Courtney's Customs and today I am so excited. I was out here in the shed. Um, I had a customer order a full wrap camouflage tumbler with some decals of their choice. Um, and I've always struggled with full water slide wraps. You know, you see Jessica Flynn and Myra makes it. They are like queens and they do it so effortlessly. And I always have so much trouble. So, um, oh, they always get all wrinkled and it just doesn't look good. So, I was out here and I was thinking, okay, I can do this. I got to think about something. And I came up with something. I don't know if it's already out there or not. If it is, I'm sorry. Um, but this popped into my brain and I wanted to share it with you guys. So, here we go. Today's video, a full water slide wrap hack. So I'm starting out with a 25 ounce skinny straight duo from the Stainless Depot. I'll make sure to have their link down in my description. And I am also using Hayes water slide paper. So I'll make sure to put that in the description as well. I always just get it from Amazon. And I am starting off with a full sheet like you see here. I'm like so excited about this guys. It helped me so much. So what I'm going to start off doing is taking my full piece of water slide paper and my prepped and spray painted tumbler. And I am going to wrap the water slide paper around it and this is just going to help me see like how big I need the water slide paper to be. So there's a lot of overhang right here, right? So what I'm going to do is take my fingernail, what little bit that I have, and I am going to kind of make myself a line down through here as a guide. Now I'm going to take my little straight edge cut thingy more bob I got from Amazon <laughs> and I am going to make that cut and I can just, I know you probably can't see it on camera, but I can just barely, barely see my little line that I made with my fingernail. I'm going to cut that off. I'm going to wrap it around again just to see and that is perfect so now i am just i'm not going to measure this because i know it's just really really tiny but i'm going to turn it the opposite way and cut just like the littlest bit off of the top so i don't have too much overhang around the rim that i have to deal with later so now this is perfect now i'm going to show you guys the process of printing the water slide so I've always hated printing stuff from my computer. I've always used my phone. I use Cricut Design Space on my phone. Um, it's just a personal preference for me that is a lot easier. So there is this app that I have praised so much. It's called Print to Size. So on Cricut Design Space, it's very limited on how big you can print. Um, so this Print to Size would let you print from edge to edge of an entire piece of paper. So I'm going to get my phone out and show you guys the process. So I have my camouflage image uploaded here on print to size. Now I am just going to turn it around, like spin it just so it fits the paper. And I'm going to make it fill up the entire page even though I'm not going to need the entire page. I just want to make sure that everything I do have cut out will be covered. So I'm just expanding that. And only thing that's left to do is print it. So you go down to the bottom right corner, hit print, choose your printer, and get it printed out. So once it's printed out, it should look like this. And it's time to seal it with some kind of uh, clear spray sealant. I always like to use Rust-Oleum 2 times Clear. Um, I like the gloss the best. I feel like it's thicker. You don't have to use as much of it. But um, I would really, in general, don't think it matters if it's satin or... Um, gloss or flat or whatever. So now that this is sprayed and it's good and dry, it's ready to be put on this tumbler. I'm so excited to show this to you guys. It worked out really well for me. I hope it wasn't just like a one-time thing. So I got my water here and I had to change from that much larger like aluminum one because I don't know what happened. Like it would just, I went through like four of them. They would randomly get holes in them and then my water would leak everywhere. So this is not quite as big as I need it to be but I'll get a bigger one next time I'm at the store. 
but at least I'm not using that really really teeny tiny one from like last year if you guys have been here for a while you remember that so I am just soaking it you know piece at a time and getting that ready to be put on now this I didn't have to mirror it or anything like that um, because it's just camo also I found this image on Google and after letting this soak in sections, I believe it is ready to go. I'm just checking it really quick and it looks great. Let me get my tumbler wet because I forgot to do that. Okay, now I am just going to try to line it up and make it as straight as I possibly can on the top here. Put my hand down inside the tumbler so it's out of the way and now I'm going to add some pressure and just slide this entire backing off nice and slow and steady now I'm going to come through with my squeegee and get all of the bubbles out and this has made this process for me so much easier um, I will obviously have to trim that but what I'm wanting to do there's there's going to be decals on both sides um, this is a like memorial tumbler for somebody so I might I might just put some like a black vinyl stripe right there and take some black spray paint and kind of just barely 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 ombre it up a little bit to cover that up but I wanted to show you guys this because um, it's really been helping me do the um, full water slide wraps and I can't be the only one that struggles with the full water slide wrap process so I hope that this helps you guys and let me show you the one that I also made so this is another one that I made and this is under epoxy. It turned out super well and I'm really excited about it. I'm going to spray paint the bottom of it black, but I wanted to make another one of these just to be able to show you guys the process that I did because I did try it on this one first. And now that I see that it works, um, I wanted to share it with y'all. Before I go, I do have y'all's cup of positivity for the day, and today's quote is, to succeed in life, you need three things, a wishbone, a backbone, and a funny bone. That was said by Reba McIntyre. That's all I have for you guys today. I really hope you enjoyed it. This is just something that kind of popped into my brain when a customer asked for a full water slide wrap in camouflage, and I've struggled so much with them, I had to find a different way to be able to do this because you know the full wraps are very nice they're very pretty so i really hope this helps if anybody struggles like i do i think this turned out really really nice and of course if y'all have any questions please feel free to comment don't forget to subscribe be kind love one another and i will see you in the next one bye